supervolcano erupts in full force, releasing more energy in moments than a thousand nuclear bombs. A column of ash blasts 50 kilometers into the stratosphere, punching through the atmosphere like a spear of fire and dust. Pyroclastic flows, unstoppable avalanches of molten rock and gas, burst outward at over 400 kilometers per hour. Forests vaporize, cities vanish, millions die within minutes. But things are only getting started. Ash begins to fall across the land like a toxic blizzard, coating everything in a suffocating gray. Flights are grounded nationwide. Crops are buried and killed. The sun fades behind a thick veil of dust. And for the first time, the world realizes this isn't a local disaster. It's a global one. The ash doesn't stop at borders. It rides the upper atmosphere, carried by winds that circle the Earth. Within days, it begins falling across Europe, Asia, the Middle East. Airports shut down, trade routes freeze, sunlight dims by 10%, then 20%. Plants begin to fail, photosynthesis slows, respiratory illnesses spike, hospitals overflow. By the second week, drinking water becomes contaminated with heavy metals. Crops wither, livestock collapse in their pens. Over 50 million people face food shortages, disease, and infrastructure failure. By the third week, panic becomes chaos. Power grids crash. Communication lines go dead. Martial law is declared in more than 40 countries. Borders close. Governments reel from the shock. And while the ash continues to fall, something more dangerous spreads. Fear. And this is only the beginning. Even as the ash begins to settle, the real damage is only beginning.